<laughs> Hi there, your friend Vendry Yugi, the real man of your real life, a true friend, a friend in need, is a friend indeed, always inspire to contribute some great information to you so that you can really do wonders in your life. Today my topic is, if you want success, for this you must have a definite purpose and decide very judiciously with a lot of contemplation, meditation and due deliberation, giving emphasis to your level of love means what you want in life, what inspires you, what motivates you, what attracts you. Like Steve Jobs wanted to do something in computer, Bill Gates wanted to do something in computer. There were a lot of people who wanted to do something in particular careers, particular callings. That is called engaging in a level of love. So you have decide what attracts you, what charms you, where is your real instinct in life. Because God has given you body, brain, mind, faculty and talents. In any area, in any calling, if you are very committed and very devoted, you will excel. But there is one area where there is no limitations and boundaries for you. With little effort, you can really reach the genius and really can become the towering personality, the stalwart in your area. So that is called the lever of love. What is your real instinct? What is your real passion? And what is your real love? Like if you have read Think and Grow Rich, there was one man called Edwin C. Barnes. He was a tramp man, a rustic rural man. But somebody told that there is a great inventor, the all-time greatest inventor, Sir Thomas Alva Edition, and he made up his mind to become his associate partner in business. Without any financial support, without any information, without any acquaintance with addition, without any assistance, he has obsession and burning desire and passion to meet him and to become his associates. I don't like to narrate that story. Ultimately, he did it because he has personal initiative. He has self-discipline, he has self-confidence, he has self-reliance. His mind was never rustic and tramp. His mind was of a prince, a king, a ruler. Because he believed everything is possible in life. He had tremendous capacity for applied faith. And little I tell you about him, when he came here and met addition, addition, addition saw him from top to bottom and realized that he is fit for nothing, just he can be a good sweeper. And so he assigned him his task of sweeper. But he saw in his eyes something glittering, blazing, radiating, the refulgence, the resplendent, the confidence, the courage, the conviction, the belief and faith in the will power. And he gave the opportunity to work in his organization. And ultimately the opportunity unfolded to him and he became one of the richest men and business associate, a partner of addition. A famous story invented by addition, installed by Edwin C. Barnes. Whatever discovery invention addition was making, he was his marketing chief and he was selling every his product. So, what I mean to say, you should have not only a wish and hope, you should have a burning desire, a compulsion for you, a necessity for you. Without that you cannot breathe, you will suffocate and you will die. That obsession of your life, then you are bound to be successful. And you have to leave no stone unturned. You have to struggle hard, you have to struggle a lot. You will meet adversity, misfortune, injuries, reverses, tremendous determined opposition to resist your progress because testing time is offered to everyone by nature. 
there is the biggest test of all time. Every great man, a successful person, is bound to pass through these kind of hurdles. And if he's a timid, coward, the easiest thing is that they will quit and they will start repenting, regretting all their decisions they have made and then they become really a failed person because they quit, they give up, they stop trying. What I tell you, you have to strive, you have to seek, you have to find every possible means and ways to see that you are through and you are going to be the greatest personality on earth in your own areas. Nobody can stop you if you have that burning desire. You are bound to come flying colors. I know one person with whom I am also a Mastermind Alliance partner and that person is Dr. Vandana Jha. Her husband, Dr. B.K. Chaudhary, wanted her daughter to be Steffi Graf and Boris Becker, but the child was called Vishnu Vishesh. So the child was not that much interested in tennis because they don't know what is the value of tennis. The two people, Dr. Vandana Jha and Dr. B.K. Chaudhary, are doctors from IT Kharpur. They saw there is much more charm in the sports. They become overnight celebrity and they can really earn a lot of money, name, fame, fortune, love, everything at their footsteps. So they decided they made a plunge. And Dr. Vandana Jha, incarnation of Napoleon the Great, a person with decision, a person with drive, commitment and passion, a person obsessed with hard work, took over the responsibility from Dr. B.K. Chaudhary. And the couple starts supporting. They spend all their earnings of the whole life they sold their land also. They went to Barcelona, Spain in Sanchez Casal Tennis Academy. They spent everything what they had, their time, their money, everything. But unfortunately, what went wrong, Dr. B.K. Chaudhary didn't know. Something went wrong, the child became sick and got injury, ACL got torn and multiple injuries started creeping in. And today the child is 23 years old and there seems gloomy and darkness all around. One day, the Dr. Vandana Jha, who had taken a lot of decisions, she quit the job in NMDC. She was general manager. She was earning something like more than 2 lakh rupees per month. She could be getting now 3 crores rupees if she had retired deliberately after her superannuation. She sacrificed. She made decisions after decision. She stopped the schooling of the child. She stopped practicing in India, went to Spain, Barcelona, Sanchez Casal Academy. She did everything within her limit of knowledge and information. And till now, child is nothing. But child has a lot of experience. And the child also start blaming Dr. B.K. Chaudhary because she thought the father was stupid. The father was forcing to play tennis. The father was inspiring and motivating. And the child was not going the right track. Add that pity graph to a stiffy graph. He was coursing, he was forcing, he was inspiring sometimes. He was thrashing also because the child didn't know how difficult it is to become a world champion. Child didn't understand why the father was so aggressive, why the father was so intense, why the father was so much ambitious. Child was child. And even the mother, Dr. Vandana Jha, started supporting the child. And uh, Dr. Vandana Jha hired a coach that called Ravi, now he is in Poland. That guy also somehow could not inspire the child. Probably the child lost drive, dedication, passion, love, commitment. And today is in a different stage. But now the child has become serious. She has spent whole life in tennis. Now there is a great man called Banu Murthy. That man is trying to support financially because the couple has lost every penny, they have nothing. Horrible G.B. Krishna already has sponsored the child for a few years. But when they shipped it abroad, the station was changed, nothing was coming. My name, Dr. V.K. Chaudhary, is telling not to regret. Because Dr. Vandana Jha remembers some of the suggestions, opinions of a lot of great people. They were suggesting that both of you were from IIT Kharagpur. Why not put the child in engineering, medical sciences or some academics? Academia, haha, <laughs> foolish shit yet. Academia, tradition, routine type, conformist. 
But the Virendri Yogi, which is also called Dr. B.K. Chaudhary as a professionalist, is a daring Alexander the Great, Napoleon the Great, Columbus, Abraham Lincoln, Steve Jobs, Bezos, and all wonderful person. He believes in impossibility. He believes in bringing heaven on earth. That Virendri Yogi suggested Dr. Vandana Jha, stop regretting. You decided great. You have done great. You will do great. Go! Win or perish. Victor death. Do or die. Do what you have decided. Even to die, that is a real salvation for you. Regretting, repenting, losing your belief and confidence, trusting somebody else and others is degrading yourself. You will become what you want to be. You will be what you will to be. Be not impatient in delay but wait. And as you understand, when his spirit rises and commands, the gods are ready to obey. The human will that forces and sin, the offspring of a deathless soul, can heave away to any goal, the walls of grand intervention. Here in the case of Dr. Vandana Jha and Vishnu Vishes, there is nothing like, you know, the death or life is not at a stake. It is just a matter of time. If the child and the mother and the parents and the supporter, the alliance partners, really resolve themselves, a strong-minded, resolute will, firmly holding to their conviction, moving forward, turning down all difficulties and dangers, keeping their eyes front, head high to the finish, never giving up, remembering that black clouds will come to everyone. All the great men have to undergo all these kind of sorrow, suffering and grief. Running away will not help them. You have to fight the battle alone. Fight it does! Things will change. God is not so unkind. He can test you to a limit. And once you have crossed the limit, He will come and work for you. God will come and work for you. He will do every work for you. Trust God. Trust yourself. Don't be timid. Don't regret. Don't repent. Cowardice. Timidity. Will not help you. Just if a man is fighting next. The greed that he daily sows. The way he stands on his feet. And takes numerous bumps and blows. Such men will never be defeated. A man when driven against the wall, bruising brows and pale, is a man who will win, who will conquer her, because he is not afraid to fail. Fail, failures, defeats, they are temporary. They are temporary, temporary, temporary. If you persevere, persist, keep on keeping on. Everything will unfold, favorable to you, congenial to you. That is the discovery of the greatest of the greats. Hold on your vision. Hold on your purpose. Hold your dream. Your inner conviction. The ideals which have been thrown your heart. The purpose which is beating in your heart. And the prophecy which is reverberating in your conscience of the mind. That you are going to become. That you are already. Imagination of such situations. Such circumstances you are creating in your mind. Do a suggestion. Things are falling in the right way. That's why my friend James Allen said. Cherish your vision, cherish your ideal, cherish the music that starts your heart. And the loveliness that drives in your mind. And if you are really true to it, and you are whole to it, then the universe will conspire and create every congenial circumstances favorable to you. The path to greatness, glory and success is not cake war. It is difficult and challenging. That's why the hearts by great men reached and kept were not attended by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, they were toiling of all in the night. Let toil, tears and sweat. Blood, toil, tears and sweat. It's the price! It's the price! Are you ready to pay? Are you ready to pay the price? 
you will buy the whole universe. You have to pay the fitting price. You have never to lose your hope, your faith, your commitment, your daring determination. And if you can force your heart and your nerves and your sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone. So hold on, so hold on, so hold on. When there is nothing in you, when there is nothing in you, accept the will to serve them. Hold on, hold on. We create conditions. We create circumstances. We write our destiny. We are the master of our fate and we are the captain of our soul. We are great. We are Alexander the Great. We are Napoleon the Great. We are great. We believe in the power of the mind. We believe in the power of the desire with faith. We believe in the power of persistence, commitment, dedication and willpower. And we also believe that quitting will not make us great. Giving up is damn it, cowardice, confirmist can never become great. Regret will not help us. Don't be afraid of difficulties. Don't be afraid of any kind of misery, sorrow and grief. If you love something, no sacrifice is to pay. Don't listen to opinions of others. Have your own opinion about yourself or opinion of your master underlying's partner. You are ready to go extra mile. You have the capacity for applied faith. You have to maintain a sound physical health. You have to maintain a very disciplined, controlled mind directed towards attaining the definite purpose of your life. If you, Dr. Bandhanatha, want your daughter to be Wimbledon champion, she will become. Think of it, dream of it, desire of it, sleep with it, awake with it, die with it, live with it, breathe with it. You become what you think about. This is the secret of success. Think and grow rich. Think and become what you want. Thank you very much for watching this video.